Hollywood, California. Again, here's some music by Jordy White. Pretty groovy. Harmontown is now in session. Spencer Clinton, everybody. Spencer. And your mayor, Dan Harmon. Thank you. Well, we've had a, we've had a string of some pretty action-packed episodes. We've had a lot of crazy guests, and uh, we've had too much show yeah. for too many shows. Yeah. So let's slow it down tonight. Let's just tonight. Let's just relax and, and have a bad show because uh, we're all tired and there's nobody there's nobody coming. Uh, and I, I don't have anything to talk about. Cause I came here directly from the Great Mindset, as did you, Spencer. Yes, yes, we, we were, did. We had, Uh, today we shot with Gillian Jacobs from uh, Community. She, yep. she played uh, she played Ada Lovelace, the uh, mother of programming. Ada Lovelace, or is it Loveless? Ada Loveless. Do, do the no. Do Ada the, Lovelace. Do the British pronounce Lovelace Loveless? I th- I think they pronounce a lot of things a lot of ways. <laughs> All I like, know is like, she's like the love. mother of modern computing. Yep, she wrote the first. She algorithm. wrote the very first lines of code. The first, the first, yeah, the first algorithm. There were no computers yet. She wrote an algorithm. You go, girl. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, I still, you know, uh, some classic observations. I still wish they made a pill that could make your fingernails stop growing. I'm just never going to clip these things uh, like on schedule. Uh, what else is going on? Do, do, do you have real Boy, long- that vice president's up to his old tricks. Uh, yeah, yeah, what? Yes, Jeff? Do you, have, do you have really long fingernails right now? Uh, you know, they're dirty, gross claws. You yeah. should bite them. I don't want to get a bite. I don't, I don't, I don't Just bite. bite them. No. I, well, I've never been tempted to do that. I do it. No. Do it right now. No. Do, do it in front of this audience. Bite them. This is exactly how the Donner Party started. <laughs> It was cold, and they were locked in a cabin, and yeah. they're like, like, someone's like, ah, God, I'm sorry. Oh, they wish they you should w- bite your nails, Gloria. Bite them. Bite them. Now, bite, now keep biting. Now let us help. Oh, I'm Gloria Donner, the first person eaten at the Donner party. <sighs> you guys saw that Hannibal uh, prequel where they, uh, yeah, all right. Where they like walk you through how, yeah, I've talked about that. This is, the Donner Party thing reminded me of that because essentially part of H- Hannibal's, uh, Hannibal Lecter's origin is that he's like a little kid under the table at an ersatz Don- Donner Party. That he's like under a table watching. That's his first experience in life is that p- sometimes people eat people. <laughs> like they walk you through bit by bit, piece by piece, like how you could become Hannibal Lecter what, by, from being you. <laughs> They remove all the fun out of the character. It's just like, hey, it could happen to you. You could be Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> it doesn't. It's, he's not Peter Parker. It's not. That's not what, we weren't. We weren't going to the that that for that. He was bitten by a radioactive hungry person. <laughs> uh, I could give. I could give you some iPad app uh, recommendations. Uh, they're not funny ones though. I. Uh, I don't want to start any more beefs with any more Francos. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm playing a game called uh, Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sequel to a one. great, uh, if you like role-playing games and like turn-based combat. It's that. <laughs> it's that, and it's a great sequel. What to classes great are you running, Dan, for uh, the people at home? I've got, I, ha- <laughs> I have a lab rat wizard. Uh, boy, don't. I have, I, have, I, have a, I have a goth. A goth girl, like, uh... That's not a class. Swordy herder. Right. <laughs> she, she's got a big sword. I think she's a... Uh, hey, wait, Spencer, it... Spencer, you play the game, too, I know. I've played it. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. What, what, what do you... What, what, what do you play? What, what, what are you your don't characters? You have a camera over there. 
the shrubs doing a thing. Is there any camera that can no. even see that? <laughs> Jeff just closed the door on Shrub. You, you, uh, sorry, you got to fill you in on a backstory. The, the show has a phantom zone, and <laughs> our general Zods are sentenced there when they try to usurp the son of Krypton. Now he's sulking. He's sulking... <laughs> All right, all right. Let's bring him out. Rob Schraub's here again. God damn it. Hey, Rob. Hello. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing all right, Jeffrey. How are you? I'm fair to Midland. Mm. Uh, what's, uh, uh, take us to your day, Rob. Uh, bre- what did you have for breakfast? Hmm. Hmm. What did I have for breakfast? I had, um, um. Are you, are you a breakfast guy? Not really, no. no? I, I have a, I, I How have come a, every time someone dies, you text me that you love me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Am I supposed to say I love you too? What, was it Prince? Wow, I don't want to say it's no, personal, it, actually. It, it, we it, lost it, a friend. It's uh, a, it, it, it's, I'm giving you a through line for your biopic. I, I, well, <laughs> It's just a runner, is the yeah, yeah. But is the is it? Am I supposed to? Is it after I die or people go? So go. He should. He should have. He should have loved Shrab back. No, 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 no. It's like was it Patton's wife or uh, who? Well, Jesus. Uh, Yeah, Yes, there was a there was a death close to the. Close to close to the decks, and uh, every time though I'm saying it doesn't matter. It's a famous person. It's a friend. It's a, every time I love you. You should take better care of. Well, you don't say you should take better care of yourself. I did, I did once. But I you did did, you're like I'm really concerned. No, it's just like no. The subtext we, we, is we, that I'm doing something wrong by no, no, living. No, 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 no. That's not. No, that is not. That is not. Not the, no. no. Well, what is it? What is the? What is going on there? I want you to know I love you. At those moments. Those yeah. moments. Robin Williams dies. I love you, Dan. Yeah. What? 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 David Bowie. Did, I love you, Dan. <laughs> Prince. Prince. Like, what? 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 What, you, what do you? What do you think I'm gonna do? I, I have wish, a platinum I, record. I, I, yeah, I, I wish you would write better records first. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, I just, I just when in those moments when you lose something special, you know, you just you start taking account of. <laughs> I don't, it, it, it's, you shouldn't be insulted by it or offended or hurt. He, I'm, he, I'm he confused wants to, I by like it. I don't audi- know how to respond. I feel like the audience just awed and then laughed at themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and they were right. Fair enough. No, no, we got this bit going on that we don't like each other, and I want you to know that it's not true. Well, <laughs> I, but when, some, when someone special dies for you, Rob... You think of the people special close to you. Yeah. I, you know. And you think of maybe the distance, the gulf between yeah. you, you and Dan. There's a lot of there's a lot and of And you gulf. wish that you were closer together. Yeah, which look at look at physically how I could <laughs> I could not be you further know, away. You could scoot you could scoot two stools closer. No, yeah, no. <laughs> well, what, what okay, okay. I can't do this. Well, <laughs> We don't have a show, so why don't we do a little holodeck scene where uh, you're not working on the Lego 2 movie for seven and a half years, and I'm not working on 950 projects for 900 oh, years. Oh, wow. Biggest fan. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of this shit. Uh, I've seen uh, the hologram deck. <laughs> Fuck that. T- tomorrow morning's blog entry starts. Her entry starts. I have colitis. <laughs> it's hard. It's, I struggle with it all the time. And my entire life, people have been asking, why are you going I to the bathroom? I have colitis. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out. 
All right, so where, does it, where, where do we take us to the, the holodeck? Uh, where do we fade in? It probably this? takes a lot of fucking, like, like, like. If, if like, you sit in the front if row. If you're sitting in the front row yeah. and you have to get up, it probably, you're probably like, holy shit, you probably, she's probably already been through the whole, like, thing of like, <laughs> like, like, it's just like, God damn it, I, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to get up and. What and if then, she's like an old timey reporter where she has to go to the phone booth and go, oh my God. <laughs> I, I I got a hot story. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. No. I was like, they shrap every time. Every time someone dies, I get a text. No, I'm just. I'm trying to give you like kind of like you know like an Edward Runner, you know, Bella Lugosi calling up. Ed. What are you setting up biopics for? <laughs> just love me. I'm trying, dude. But you're you putting me on the spot, <laughs> making me feel bad. Let's holodeck it. Okay, let's holodeck. Let's holodeck. Say, okay, let's, so holodeck just, like, let's just hey, pretend. Let's, let's, holo- let's, let's holo- holodeck it out. Let's, let's holodeck like we let's used holodeck to. Let's holodeck it. Let's holodeck. Give me some water. Throw me that one in the middle. All right, thanks. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Don't make it that kind of show. It's not... Like a, <laughs> It's supposed to be a thoughtful show. <laughs> All right, we, so did, well, I just came here because we rejected the concept that catching something is important. <laughs> Let's it's not about, bring that It's back. about connection, Dan. It's, it's, about, it's about human yeah, connection. Yeah, exactly. All right, so if we're going to holodeck it, wh- where do you want to fade in, in into this holodeck? She's back. Uh, She's wiping her seat down. She's spilled she's cranberry big, juice. Okay. She spilled cranberry juice, Dan. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. But it's she's she's uh, she's wearing black. Who cares? She's like, spilling uh, cranberry. I know. Juice, Dan. We all know. It's that's, not that's, that big of a deal. I know. But that's code for period. Like, like. <laughs> oh shit! Is that right? Yes. I've got my cranberry juice. <laughs> all right. I have to See, go to the bathroom. I, I I haven't had a girlfriend in so long. I, I don't know <laughs> this. These, I, I don't know these code words. All right. So holodeck friendship with Shrab. What, where are we fading in to solve these uh, these this problems? Is, this is programmed to make me look bad. No, I mean, no, it's, well, no, it's co- it's programmed to call your bluff because when I get a text that says I love you, only when people die, it's like the uh, to me this the the the, in, the unspoken uh, thing is like uh, we don't see each other enough, we don't have a close enough relationship, uh, you eat too much, you drink too much. But I've said that here out loud. I've said those words. I don't have to have a a. a, a I don't have to do some kind of sleight of hand with a text. I say that to your face. Yeah, so why can't you just text Prince died? I write R.I.P. R- R- Prince. What, what do you want? Then you say, I love you, Dan. And it's like so and loaded. You, okay, well, fine. What do you... Wh- now okay. I sound like a Gundy, dick. Gund- <laughs> gun to your head, what do you want? You want me to stop, Tim? Oh, fuck you. No. <laughs> Gun to your head, you want me to keep doing it? All right, look. This gun is to your head. VR it. Virtual, virtual fishing boat. The gun is gone. <laughs> <laughs> virtual fishing boat. Shut up! Shut up, you're scared of fish! Shut up! Is that the soundtrack? It's a whale. It's it's foggy. So it's good that we finally got this moment alone. Yes, it sure is. To Dan. be best friends, yes. fishing together. Yes, finally. So that we can finally hang out. Now that we love re- each other, we've retired, and, and yeah. this is this is it. Yeah. Thank God, none of us worked really hard until we dropped dead without warning. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God we did that. Now we can enjoy this. Sunshine now here we are. And this fish. Yep. <laughs> Think of, think of, think of, like, uh, like uh, what we would have, I mean, oof. 
I, I made you something. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Close your eyes. <laughs> Hold out your hand. It's my shit. <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Jet ski! What the? It's a detachable! You son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm just going to land so my angel wings don't have to flap so much. Can we get back to fishing, please? Dad killed you, and you, you still want to hang out with him and fish with him? Well, I put shit in his hand. It uh, kind of evens right. itself out. He, he killed himself. Yeah. Well, yeah. I gave him an out. Yeah. <sighs> All right, that didn't work. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this, I, this I level of show. <sighs> Our oh, next guest. Oh. Do, do you not want to be loved by Rob? You, you, you just don't want to be loved when people die, and, and that's when you feel loved it by him It makes him, him most. uncomfortable. It makes him uncomfortable that... The, to, to Are you hear, loving him more when, when famous people die than, than otherwise? No, or just when anybody dies. You know, when just death is, is happening. Oh, you know, so, I'm like that with Kate. I'm like that with Lolly. I'm like that with a lot of people. And Dan, you feel you, you don't want to be loved only when de- mortality is the, uh, the thing. It right? makes yeah. him uncomfortable. It makes him uncomfortable. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't put any more. This is the same thing with my mom. She'll like send me a, uh, a, a a direct tweet or something, and it'll say like, "Be nice to hear from you now and then." I'm like, bitch, you got my number. <laughs> text me. I called her bluff. I said, "You can text me anytime." I want. Well, I wouldn't want to bother you. Bother me. She never does. She doesn't text me. But do you, do you want her to? I don't know. <laughs> well, well, I don't know. I've te- I've texted you. What up? What up, man? <laughs> What's going on, man? What, what do I do? No, no, you don't write back. <laughs> you, you are in... You, you don't you, have to scratch you, your you head. Are in, you're, you're in workaholic mode where like, you're busy as a motherfucker all the time. Yeah, like, I got, like, no, got no time. You, you have the best excuse to not reply because yeah. you, you're always working. You have the best out of I all time. I get it. Well, also, sometimes they put his phone in a box. Yeah. Wait, wait say what? Sometimes, like, a small man comes and puts his phone into a box. All right. His name is Steve Levy. <laughs> Rob, are you a fan of uh, the horror film genre? Yes, I am, actually, yes. Yeah. Are you, do you like cinema? I like cinemas, yes. Um, I like them. <laughs> well, uh, our next guest <laughs> is, uh, is uh, he played the, uh, I think, the most recent Jason Voorhees. Yes, he did. Whoa. So he, I think he must have done a terrible job because they kind of like no, they don't. stopped making those movies. That's not the. I think he must have killed people wrong. I think he killed him. He killed everybody in the movie. There's nobody to. Let. He was too good. Oh, he's too good. He's too he killed good. Everybody. He's like, he's like, he hunted himself to extinction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every Jason Voorhees movie has yeah. to. All right. Okay. Well, he's an old friend of ours, and uh, I don't think he's ever been up on this podcast. He's like just hanging out. Don't look at me. You, you know the roster better than I do. Please welcome Derek <laughs> Mears. Oh, yeah. yeah! Oh, 
shit. Derek. I just spilled my cranberry juice. Mm. Yeah, come on over on this side of the deck. What are you going the in the middle? I can't. There. 195, episode 195. Oh, yeah, we're coming up on 200. We should do something special. Yeah. We should For have that like episode. A... 195. I wanted to do a gag tonight where I get so mad at Shrub, I'm chasing him around like some crates, and then he runs behind a crate, and then you come out the other side. <laughs> <laughs> And it just puts me off of chasing shrubs forever. <laughs> uh, don't tell the audience. It's going to be great. Let's do How it. How come that Harmon hates shrubs so much? <laughs> uh, it's an old Looney Tunes joke. Um, uh, yeah, we, we, just we, smiling we, and politely. <laughs> <laughs> for, the, for the crowd here that doesn't know our, our origin story, we know Derek, all of us, uh, Dan, Rob, and I, through comedy sports. Derek, you were Bakersfield comedy sports. <laughs> yeah, correct. And Rob and Dan were Milwaukee. Milwaukee. I was L.A., and we all met at certain tournaments. And uh, we, we, we all met, like, I remember sitting with Derek Mears. You, you, I'll, I'll talk to you in first person. Uh, sit, sitting with Derek, and we saw uh, the Burt Firstners play in Milwaukee. And you and I sat next to each other, and it was like uh, Mike Rock, uh, Chris Tom, and our, like, all of our like, New York friends. And we saw something so funny. That you and I looked to each other like, fuck this shit. Like, we were actually unhappy <laughs> at, at how funny things were. Yeah, they were too and, good. And Rob and, like, Dan, Rob and Dan were in, uh, in the Dead Owl Wives. And, like, again, we're like, these guys are these, they're funnier than we are. So, f- like, fuck it. <laughs> like, go home. We're done. Exactly. Totally done. Yeah. Oh, you were watching us? That's the. the, the... Yeah, well. Uh, oh, I, you saw, yeah. It was and the, though, bird, the first we, You saw something so funny that you were like, let's quit forever. And those things were Dan Harmon. <laughs> Well, actually, I, I, I thought Sean McKenna was the funniest dead ale alive. It's true. Well, yeah, because he was. he was the most punk rock. Like, yeah. he, he was like, you guys were all funny. You guys were all hilarious, but he was so dangerous and so weird. Yeah. I was like, I, I came from L.A. comedy sports, which was so safe and so by the numbers. It was like, oh, like these guys are actually like punk rockers in the improv world. And we all ended up hanging out like on, on the sidelines and like f- becoming friends and uh, that, that, uh, my, my friendship with Rob, Dan, all you guys was, was coincided with Derek Mears. Like, you guys think that uh, Kanye West gets a bad rap? Like, like, I feel like everybody, like, like, we, like, he's, he, 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 he does a good rap too. He's never, he's, he's never, as far as I know, he's, not, he's, he, he's never, he's never hit anybody or abused anybody. His, his, and he's got seven number one albums in a row. I mean, I think and, and I we, think we keep waiting for him does. to become humble or normal. <laughs> I think he's just a lunatic, right? Like, he's but very he's good got at what... seven number one albums in a row. I think a lot of it's uh, just a big show. Just kind of like, like, like an Alice Cooper, Marilyn Manson on the metal side, but on the, the hip-hop side. He does things just to get, pe- get in people's mindset and to, yeah. to be in the consciousness. Yeah. You know, I d- you I know what I... he just did, though? Well, he didn't just do it. He did it a while ago. He was like, my album's always going to be on title, Only title forever. <laughs> and then it wasn't. So, <laughs> like, a lot of people subscribe to title under false pretenses, and now there's a class action lawsuit or something. What? I don't Wait, know. What? Subscri- what? What? Title. The subscription program or thing, service. Music streaming oh. subscription by oh, Jay-Z, right? I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Con- there, he's got all this talent, right? He's trying to get, you know, talent on his side. Kanye's like, it's only going to be on title. If you want talent, it's going to be on title. You best subscribe. And then, uh, then it comes out not on title, and everyone's like, well, what the fuck? What are we doing this for? We could just buy albums like normal people? <laughs> Shit. Well... Still, though, a lot of people hit women. Yeah, no, no. Uh, or, and, 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 and piss on people worst. and stuff. I that's still not bad. Yeah. I, I got to say. I do, And I feel like if you're going to tear up someone's floor of their set, you just run it by them in their dressing room. Just go, hey, we got to tear up the floor of your set. It's uh, mirrors. It doesn't work for the cameras. He'd probably be like, okay, cool. I'm Picasso and Jesus. <laughs> 
Okay, cool. We're SNL. <laughs> Goodbye. And then he's, but they didn't tell him. I mean, like, of course he's going to be like, what the fuck? They didn't even tell me. I'm Picasso and Jesus. And someone's recording him from 50 yards going, ooh, this is the best. <laughs> Are you comparing yourself to Kanye or, or Jesus Ringer? It doesn't. What he's taught me is it doesn't matter. It, it, like, 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 we, we should all be a little more proud of ourselves, for God's sake. I mean, seven number one albums. He four albums ago is when he needed to stop being humble. By our own rules that we've established, three number one albums. You're allowed to start like wearing a shoe for a hat. <laughs> We established that a long time ago. Are you, are you a big Kanye fan? Do you, do you like his? I don't music? really like his music, but I like his personality. <laughs> I like. You, you just I, want permission to be Kanye West. I just gotta. I just gotta. Well, no, I just like. I'm just defending a guy who's like, yeah, I get it. You know, I would. I would like. I do. It's like. It's like. It's adorable that he that that people were like. You know, the the, the lady was like. He put. He likes stick stuff in his butt, and then it's like. It's amazing that he was like bothers to get on Twitter. It's like, oh, come on, seriously, I don't like anything in my but it's him it's not it's not like a pr company going like speaking of butt go to target like like it, 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 it's like him going like come on come on y'all i don't put anything in my butt that's great that's accessible he's uh Wait, is, this, is this similar to like how people don't like to drink alone so like the, the narcissism level like going, look at me this is amazing and so he's like that big and you're like oh i look up to him someday I, well, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know what. I don't know where the insult begins. Oh and no, ends. it's playful, like a kitten insult. It's not like I'm gonna hurt you, like stab you in the face. I'm well, you like can't. A- I'm like Picasso. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't stab me. You'd be stabbing thin air. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm Jesus. Uh, so you you want to be Kanye? Like, like you like you like? I am. I am. Aren't I? I am Kanye. Should we holodeck this? <laughs> Holodeck, holodeck, just me being Kanye. Well, like, okay. And the winner for best musician for the MTV Music Awards is. You want to read the envelope, Shanine? <laughs> <laughs> All right, put your ears and hands together. It's Kanye West. You know what? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> Taylor Swift, get up here. Taylor, Taylor, get up here. She deserves this ro- award. This is bullshit. I didn't work my ass off. Taylor Swift did. <laughs> she deserves it. I didn't know what else to do with that. <laughs> Taylor, Kanye. Oh, 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 soul powers. Oh, your soul tastes so delicious, Kanye. Cut to black, Taylor. <laughs> Pentagon, 1978. Pentagon. Oh, shit. Uh, went the wrong way. <laughs> I think it's like, what is it? It's three lefts, two rights. <laughs> All right, finally. I've been looking for you guys forever. <clears throat> I went to a room. There was a guy. Uh... So anyways... Um... Uh, we have a problem. Uh, well, we're the guys that help you with that. Operation Delta has been a failure. Oh. The old Operation Delta is a failure. Yeah, that we su- suspected yeah. as my... If we... If, yeah. Yeah, we didn't put our all into that one. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, oh fuck! Uh, oh, shit. Uh, fire, <laughs> f- fire drill. Uh, uh, it's like uh, we just know the a, air's going down. We got to get out of here. It's a re- regular fire drill. We, we try to keep it. You know, everybody uh, says don't use an elevator. Fuck that. Let's shit. Let's use the elevator. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. It's a new yeah. way that you use it. <laughs> do, do. I'm, it comes it's so it much, goes. believe me, it's so much quicker it's than those stairs. It's in the way scares. that you use it. Bo, bo, so what, how about what Sally what was wearing you know? today? Well, what a slut. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I mean, are you working for the Pentagon or? The, 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 the J.C. Penny's a gun. <laughs> Did, we, did the elevator stop and the uh, door's just, not open? Well, we're on that. We're only on the uh, the, the the quadragon oh, okay. level. <laughs> Press the button again, just in case. It's in the way that you use it. The, the, the buttons went up. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, oh fuck! Lights go out. Shit! <laughs> oh my god! It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> That doesn't mean anything. It means the doors are about to open because they're trying to save electricity. No. What? God, I, don't, I don't want to freak you guys out, but when the stuff like this happens, if I, if I can't see things, I, I, I have little flashbacks as a child and I start to get uncomfortable and weird things happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. C- cut to Derek's flashbacks as a child. Son, happy birthday. This is your new hammock. Uh, thanks, this is so comfortable. I've never had anything like this before. It moves Daddy so- Derek, Daddy Derek. Snip, snip. No, snip. don't. No. 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 God damn it, no. Back to, the, back, to the, back to the elevator. Back to the elevator. And that, that, she was really mean to me, and wow. so that's what happened. She called you Fatty Karen? Yeah. <laughs> she had like a speech impediment, really yeah. high-pitched voice, and she couldn't say my name right. She, what what she is your name a lot again? Like you. Derek Karen Mears. Oh, okay. okay. The lights are still out, you guys. <sighs> yeah. God. If you don't know, I've taken control of your elevator car. It's Kanye like, West? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have 30 seconds to make the greatest rap album of all time. He can do it! He can do it! Oh, don't, you know, okay. He can do it! Right. You're Jesus Picasso, you can do it! Just you really, can do it! It's Put really some... confined in here, but. Yeah, well, try we'll, to... we'll, we'll, we'll sit down. Well, no, that's. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, that kind of. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Put your alligator action together for Key W. So yes. A circle is a daydream. A circle is a square to me. A circle is another shape inside my school and playground. I'm singing like a lady. I'm singing like I never had tomorrow. I'm singing like I love the shapes of circles and squares and triangles. When the grass is green and the sun is yellow. I saw your mama tonight I heard she's turned into a fellow That's not transphobic I support her wholeheartedly in her change If she wants to be whoever she wants to be She should be, 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 she should be tomorrow A circle is a square Every sun is a rainbow Every day is today Unless, unless it turns into tomorrow A triangle is three A square has more, more than that A circle has zero But you are a hero if you want to know that Come on. 
And then I'd do nine more songs like that, and... I mean, obviously, you've been bested. It's like, we have a budget for the elevator narrator, and we don't have the budget for the elevator maintenance. Yeah, yeah. No wonder we lost the last three wars. Yeah. It's crazy. <sighs> Can't see my watch. Still... Ah, finally. Thank God the ghost is here. <laughs> He's got his own door! <laughs> Bumps! <laughs> Come through mine! Thanks, my only friend. <laughs> Let's get you a new hammock. I had nothing to do with the hammock. I was in his flashback. Actually, you know what? I'm scrubbing the Delta Project. That's what I came to tell you guys. I was going to take you to lunch, break it to you slowly over mozzarella sticks. You admitted yourselves. You phoned it in. Mozzarella stick. Ah, get your own now. So Are, long. But you should... What's he doing with that apple? He's eating it. And he's... <laughs> It's a nano apple. <laughs> so long, suckers. <laughs> Wasn't that nano apple part of the Delta Project? It was, but um, I think he meant it to be a cheese dick. <laughs> a cheese dick? Yes. <laughs> Want to go back to giving me head? (laughs) Credits. All right. Was it like that? Exactly. All right. (laughs) Could we have a serious conversation for a second? Yes. All right. All Dan, right. I love you. Oh. <laughs> who, di- who, who died? That scene. <laughs> S- Spencer, how have you been? I've been so good. There's something in... I know, you've been messing with it and looking at it for minutes. I feel like... Just, what do you think... Just, what is it? Drink it, know, man. Just it, drink it. No, I think it... You got some sort of weird thing in your vodka? This is like the lowest stakes creep show ever. <laughs> I know what's in here. There's something. There's, a, there's just something the ice? down there. There's oh, some jewels. Well, in there. whatever it is, I got it. No? <laughs> oh, it's the reflection of my finger. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. You're like a bird. No, it's still there. Oh, but that's us. Okay. All right. Oh, man. I just want to make... I'm very phobic about impurities and stuff. Yeah. (laughs) Whatever's in there, vodka will probably kill it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or the snakes will. (laughs) I love you so much. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, Derek... Uh, tell us about getting kicked in the nuts by Will Smith. <laughs> uh, okay. In Wild Wild West. Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, uh, as an actor, I was very lucky. At one point, my one of my first uh, jobs was working on the uh, stellar hit uh, Wild 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 West. <laughs> wild Wild West one. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you play the uh, robot spider? Uh, I w- a- attack yes. of the robot spiders. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Actually, it was the uh, giant metalhead guy uh, inside the spider, and I was super nervous because I had to hit uh, Will Smith for the first time, uh, punching him and whatnot, but he had to kick me in the nards as well. Um, but uh, uh, when we were doing it, we have, when you get kicked in the nards, you have like a, usually a safety strap that goes around your uh, ankle all the way up through here, kind of like a belt. So you, if someone hits you, it stops them from actually hitting your nard parts. Yeah. 
Hold on, it gets good. <laughs> it's like That's, a hammock, an yeah. upside down hammock <laughs> Absolutely. above the ground that is your nuts. Absolutely. It's supposed to hold the body that is yeah. Will Smith's ankle yeah. as he does the plopping into it of kicking as hard as he can upward. Yeah. So, and that is the correct term, plopping. As, as, hard, as hard as he might try, if he kicks straight up into your, into your dick, he's not going to get there because it's attached to your feet. Correct. Her. But if you go up at an angle, you get hit hard. In the thigh. Uh, in, the, in the upper groinal area where the connection between your hoop and the hop come together. Um, and your nuts are huge. <laughs> <laughs> they're, uh, they're average man nuts. <laughs> but think. you're bigger than an average man. So like you're, right. you say, like, oh, this, this, this Diet Coke is average size, but it's like you drink a special, like, giant Diet Coke can. <laughs> Wait, how how big are like what, what's average nut size? Like 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 a quarter? Like is that an, a nut? Yeah, like a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer's giant. giant he, he has to be like, like two times my size of nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm special. <laughs> also, when you have me on the show, quality, quality stuff the entire time. <laughs> so, anyways, you have so anyways, the story uh, uh, that you're making me tell. Uh, we did it about like <laughs> I expected you to go. I want to talk no. about that. <laughs> no, so about twenty takes happened. Uh, not one was straight up, and they were side to side. And I felt like a kickboxer because it got to the point where I kept getting kicked over and over. And it's kind of like 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 Rocky, where he, like he'd start to buckle and be like. When I was a kid, I was so new, going, no, 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 this is good. I so keep he, he, going. He's not kicking straight up. He's kicking into the thigh. Yeah, yeah. And you want it straight up. <laughs> but but he's, yes. he, he, he's I'm, I'm assuming, not kicking you straight up because instinct says, if I kick this guy as hard as I can straight up, that's going to be like kicking a human being in the balls. So he's kicking you into the thigh. Yes. To, to, probably to be a good person, but he's doing it wrong. Correct. But uh, he, he makes more than I do, and he can hire me in the future. He did it completely right, and it was my fault. <laughs> uh, but no, afterwards, I had like, just like just think of the blackest purple. Like I went to the, the trailer, and like, I kind of hobbled to the trailer and lay there, and just had these giant like volleyball size on both sides, like bruises. Uh, and from the thing beat. is, when you're a young stuntman... Like, like, well, I think what you expressed to me is like you have the, you're in this terrible dilemma because it's like do you you can't like stop between the thirtieth take. And by, and by the way, I met the dude that uh, was in an acting class. I, yes, believe it or not, I was in an acting class at, at uh, uh, Sam Christensen's class, and the one of the classmates was the guy who played Marco in Die Hard who is the guy who says, next time you're going to shoot somebody, don't hesitate. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for the advice, asshole. Uh, uh, that guy, Mar- I'm sorry, it was, but, but, but well, I, I was, because I was thinking of that guy because he told me, because uh, 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 he's a stuntman. A lot of the terrorists in Die Hard, they're just stuntmen like, 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 yeah. because they had to do rolls and dives and tucks and nips and things. Um, and uh, uh, he, he, he's like, I So fuck- racist. <laughs> a, a moment of silence for that moment of silence. Um, the... Uh, <laughs> The 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 his he he would he 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 ruined his back during Die Hard. Never, I think he never like could do stunt work again because that was his biggest gig, and it was the most benign thing you'd see in Die Hard. There's a moment when uh, he's like talking, and then some dudes come in the doorway, and he goes. It's like then they catch, they catch Bruce Willis off guard and he draws down on them and like there's just a two second shot of the doorway and like the guys scatter and in that shot Marco vaults over an office chair like does a little dive it's not that big a deal the movie's not called rhythm Gym- gymnastics hard you know it's like it's not like whoa they'll blow you away with their the wonderful cartwheels but he did this move that he then had to do 46 times literally i think they did 46 takes of that shot and he could never stop at t- take 23 and say I'm out. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin my body. And you, like, Will Smith is kicking you in the nuts for the 18th time. And you're not, like, you're faced with this, like, crazy choice of, like, well, what am I going to be the stuntman that's, like, gotten this far and then goes, I can't take it, boys. <laughs> well, you're allowed to, but uh, you're allowed to at any point say, okay, I'm hurt. But if you do, they go, oh, shit. Uh, go home. And we never hire you again. Like, right? I th- yeah, I think if you're a veteran, you probably get away with it more, right? Well, well not. 
with the, the the mentality between like acting and stunts, the it, it's white collar, blue collar. On the stunt side of things, like your job is to make the stunt coordinator who hired you look as good as possible. So if you ever get hurt or injured on set, you don't actually you, you're not you, you shouldn't uh, as a profession like scream out and go ah my arm is broken and I can't feel. You'd be very quiet, and you, you if you're hurt, you leave set so you don't cause that panic on set, and people freak out because you'll interrupt the work day, then they don't make their day, and then there's money involved and whatnot. But you go in, you you, you take it, you you wrap over whatever hurt, and you go back and you finish the job for the day if, if your mentality is right, and then you, you heal up later. You got pretty hurt. Uh uh, what, a, a separated shoulder or something like that? Oh, no, no. The uh, I had a, a really bad herniated disc in my neck. It was the toughest job I've ever done. Uh, I did Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. I was just going to bring that up. Yeah, yeah, so I was. I, I couldn't wait to bring that up because I watched that entire movie. I thought that fucker was CG. Yeah, that was yeah. you in a costume. Yeah, that was crazy. That troll. That big ogre yeah, thing. That Edward the that Giant was troll. dude in a costume. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was crazy. The uh, uh, we we shot three months in Berlin. The first week there, anything you do uh, for these like kind of monster jobs, because an actor, I bounce with my normal face and doing monsters from time to time. But anytime you do like a monster job, you're always prepared ahead of time. Like 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 a, I always talk like a UFC fighter. You you overtrain so when you're on set, nothing's gonna phase you. But the suit was so difficult because the originally the uh, the studio wanted to CG the character, and the producers and the director were finding going, no, we want to do it practical. We have the right people and the right team together. Let's do it practical. And they're like, okay. Okay, we'll try it. But the suit was so big. Um, I try to explain to people like when you put it on, it's uh, it's like being on a treadmill with like a hundred plus pound uh, uh, weight on your like neck, shoulders, all all, all over you. Uh, you. You're breathing your own carbon dioxide, so you can't breathe very well. Your pulse is already. You're actually cooking inside the suit. So imagine that and putting a plastic bag on your head and running <laughs> uh, blind. So and Will Smith kicking you in the nuts the entire time. <laughs> But yeah, it was crazy. Uh, I got and, and he wasn't even on that job. He just shows up. To <laughs> yeah, no. His, Will Smith just fucking goes from set to well, set. Well, he became addicted to it. That's the yeah. thing. Like, uh, you, you, Where'd you get a taste for it? Is that, he started, also on the side you start to make excuses in your head. I deserved it. I shouldn't have made him do that. It's, and, called, it's called addiction. It's uh, called addiction. He uh, actually, uh, on, on Will Smith's behalf, like it was my kind of first like big Hollywood star going, oh my God, I don't want to ruin this. He was the nicest, most down-to-earth guy. I was talking to one of his entourage at the time going like, is, is he doing a game or is is he legit? He goes, no, 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 man. Will Smith is Will Smith 24 hours a day. And he treated, it didn't matter if you were the, the caterer all the way up to the main producer, he treated everybody, everybody equally with respect, and I was blown away. I learned a lot from him. All right. Now, now Derek. Der- yeah. What? Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. I'd like, to, I'd like to work with him someday. Derek, were, were you, yeah. am, am I getting this wrong? Is it, Derek and I used to be roommates uh, for a while uh, back in the day. Uh, oh, yeah. And when you auditioned for that, uh, they had you come in. For Wild Wild and, West. For Wild Wild West. Mm-hmm. One. And, and, and you, they said, like, 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 do some kicks and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. wasn't there a thing like they said, like, do like a high kick? And you're like, no, I'll. I'll kick a hole in the ceiling. No, no, that was, it was a small room or whatever, and there was like a low hanging. I, I, my background's like martial arts and stuff, and so they're like, "Oh, go ahead and do, can, you, like, a, can you kick over your head?" I go, "Yeah, I, what? Where, I can stop here. I don't I'm like why? Because I'll kick the light thing. I don't want to do that." I thought, uh, like, go ahead and do it. Yeah, yeah, and I kicked it. <laughs> You kick yeah. the ceiling out, and they're like, yeah. "You got the fucking job." Also, on a side note, like being Jeff's roommate, like it, talk about like. <laughs> talk about if, if you want to. This motherfucker leaves the <laughs> toilet seat up, the refrigerator door open. If, if you're if you just moved to Hollywood and you're looking for self confidence, don't move in with Davis. Uh, <laughs> That guy is a no sweetheart of a human being, like just like like, like, like a brother to me. But well, all of his uh, his uh, his his, his uh, uh, waking nightmares about nine eleven. Like, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I would date skinny like weak like you know thin actresses. Derek would date giant hard ass. Stunt women who like looked like like Xena warrior princess. So I'd be in my little bedroom and we'd be like, eh, baby, uh, no, like like you want to, like you should eat something. And, 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 and that, that was him talking to me. Stunt talk. 
And then it, from Derek's room, it was boom, come on, come on. Like, like they were doing, the, like, the, you, you guys were wrestling so hard. Furniture was flying. Wrestling. And, and, and we, me, me and my skinny actor's girlfriends were like, well, are they okay? Like, yeah, yeah they're, they're uh, I, I live with uh, a superhero. <laughs> Also, Derek would do a thing. Uh, first time when we lived uh, at the uh, Serrano, uh, like in Koreatown. Yeah. Derek, you know, he's, what are you, six? Six, six five. Six five. Uh, totally hairless. Uh, very, very, very muscular. He's trying to create a picture for you. Yeah. <laughs> for, for, for the home listener. Dan, it's a podcast. Kind of a, kind of a Mr. Clean look. It's a podcast. Kind of a, Mr. Clean. Derek would come out. <laughs> And, and, and like I, I'd be playing his PlayStation, I'd be doing like some Tomb Raider or whatever. And Derek would come out in his tidy whities and he would do this. Oh boy! I, I called it the Pretty Prancer. He would, he would, come, out, he would come out of the bathroom and he'd go. Like, so imagine, imagine him in naked except for tidy whities and he would go. Like, Jeff, Jeff, uh, am I a pretty prancer? <laughs> yes, Derek. You're a pretty pony. <laughs> it was the best. Uh, good times. Good times. Uh, but the point I was trying to make with, uh, with Jeff coming over... <laughs> with Jeff as a roommate is like I would sit there like, I had the same spot on the couch I was that friend you know who's like disheveled and like oh I'm just gonna play Tomb Raider on Playstation 2 this is great and it was like a cattle like, like a revolving door of like beautiful hot like eccentric women would come in and like I would sit there and they're talking like Don Perignon I feel like like the kid from Deliverance I'm like hey, what's going on <laughs> you know Jeff's a real funny dude you should go have a good time tonight <laughs> But they had to put up with me because, like, they, you know, they're dating Jeff and they knew we were close. Like, oh, <laughs> you guys could have leaned into that. You could have done like just just skin tight latex like, for, on a Friday night. Like, are you going? Are you going out tonight? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna probably bring some women home. You want me to do the you know the thing? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to just be in the cabinet under the sink? <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. And then you do your high kicks. <laughs> and then Will Smith comes out of a different cabinet and starts kicking you in the nuts. Like, like, Is like, that Will Smith? He's really nice. Derek, Derek flat footed, flat footed, you could kick the ceiling probably here, right? I think I can. Oh. Wait, still? I oh, right. I'm still I'm tighter than I used to be. I could fall, it'd be awesome. You got them tight I'll try it. Pink try, try pants it. on. Just try try I mean uh, I think flat Oh yeah, you, you These are he's that. wearing jeans. Whoa. Oh. Jesus Christ. He kicked it. Whoa. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> he chopped nice. it. He yeah. yeah that must be. Guys, if any sort of terror erupts, I got your back. Dan. Dan's Do it. Trying to kick it. This, is a, this is a horrible game idea. Game Rock is not his game. Is a... Great. Great. You really are Picasso Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually kind of curious, like, how, like, what the disparity is. Like, how, how far my leg goes up. I think it was like... You got pretty close. Uh, <laughs> what you, Yeah. <laughs> What uh, so? So if you go to your chiropractor and uh, it's like, oh, he's fixed your back, and then he's like, have you done those exercises? And you, you haven't, and then because you, you're busy, mm -hmm. and then you're like, if I just say no, then I, which I've already tried, I've tried to be honest. He goes like, have you done those exercises? They're like core exercises, like where you work your core. It's for my posture. I don't like my posture, but I don't, I don't like doing the exercises either, so my hands are tied. 
so so I, I like like so once a week I go into him and he goes like, he's adjusting my back and then he goes, did you do those exercises? And and, and I, like, I tried. I already tried. I tried. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's the that's the same uh, as my alarm tone. It's where we because we live in an Orwellian society. <laughs> it's not like yours was going to be. It's in the way that you use it. Um, the, Ke- Kevin Day is like, God damn it, fucking that's Eric Clapton. Fucking was just got sued. Um, the uh, I, I I don't do the. I, so I already tried. I tried going. No. By the way, his, uh, no, I'm not going to tell you his name because then you, you might yelp him and like harass him. Uh, uh, Doctor uh, X, Doctor yeah, X. Doctor, no, Doctor X. But by the way, X is his first name because not a real doctor, chiropractor. It's like Doctor Todd, you know. Uh, no, Doctor Todd, I did not do the exercises this week. I didn't do them. And then his reaction is like, "Okay, well, can I ask you a question? Do you want to have better posture?" Yes, I do, Doctor Todd. Well, I, you can't have it if I can't help you if you're if you're gonna because if you don't want to do it then you don't want to do it. Wasn't he like, uh, well, if you want, don't want to waste my time or like something well, yeah, like he was like, wasting your time? Or well, something. that's when I cancel an appointment. He oh, goes like, right, like right. They, but it's like I pay for the appointment. Oh, I thought he was like, like you're not airline. gonna stretch. You're just wasting my time. Well, he's a, yeah, yeah. He's a, like he, get, he was like, well, well, if you don't if you don't want to do it, like like I don't know what to do with you. And so then I tried lying a little bit. Like, so then the next time he goes, like, do you know the exercises? I hadn't. And so I tried lying just enough because I didn't get the right. It was like, so I goes, like, yeah, a couple times. He's like, yeah, well, like, like, how often? I'm like, oh, here and there. <laughs> like, like, once every other day, trying a little bit. And then he said, well, I can't, you know, look, I mean, I want to help your posture, but I can't, I can't work with you if it's like, oh, once every other day. And like, did an impression of my voice and like, <laughs> Like, I, and it was like I just was like I was just like I got my face in a table while he's doing that shit, and I'm like I just like I don't need to put up with this. This motherfucker's supposed to crack my back. And then, but then I think, well, what if I stop going to him, and then my back feels bad? Have you then tra- you'll know he works. That seems like the best idea. And then I go back to him, and then he's like, I don't know. Like I throw a pebble at his window. <laughs> Doctor Todd. <laughs> I hold, I hold up a boombox and it's playing the <laughs> shitty Muzak version of <laughs> fucking oh, whatever he plays over his fucking shitty uh, new, new age once. sound system. I touch you twice. <laughs> now, have you tried actually doing his instructions and doing that? Yeah, Let's they're, do them right now. No, they're on the. They're on the, they're, uh, no, they don't applaud that. No, 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 no. It's not, a, they'll applaud for this. Let's do it. I think we, if you did it right now, then you could be truthful. You don't like lying. No, You're I already, an honest person. He won't even accept. I already know that even if I did him a lot, according to me, that wouldn't be enough for him. Okay, then, then definitely don't do him. Yeah. Yeah. Stop so it. So do I have to stop going to him? No. <laughs> Wait, what? No. He's trying to help you. <laughs> but I don't have time to do the exercises, bro. Wait. How, wait what are the exercises and how long? Yeah. How, how, like 15 how, seconds. <laughs> I just got to lay down on the floor and go and like like... Like this, it's like for my core. I don't right. have a core. Do it every time you have to pee. Fifteen seconds. When you gotta you, pee, you can't even try it just as an experiment to see if he's a good chiropractor. If history is any teacher, no, I cannot. I don't. I'm not able to do it. It doesn't work into my schedule right now. I can't have Steve Levy put on my calendar. Do it when you pee. Thrust your fucking hips for fifteen seconds. I'm like my calendar already looks like this. Every day is like what. Like what? Read read the Bible. What? That's a, that's like, a, like I have to do so much shit, and then I, I, it's like, like cut, there's gonna be like slivers added in there. Like thrust your hips against the wall. Have you cut Minecraft out of your schedule, dude? <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> is that Steve, Levy? Steve Levy says, yeah. "Yeah, I don't play no Minecraft. I do, Knights and pe- of Pen and Paper too. I, I I got I got I got a couple hours in yesterday. I, I I don't I don't touch console games or laptop games. I only do iPad uh, time management games. They're teaching me time management. Are you still in pain? Is your, is your back like? No, that's the thing. So why would I ever do these exercises? Then don't go. Don't go. You no, sound like you're busy. Bag, do... You sound so busy, Dan. You sound so busy. You need to relax. Take it easy. Don't go. If you don't like, if you don't like him. You don't like him. You don't like what he's telling you to do. Stop it. Just don't go. I worry about you, man. 
don't go. Just just stay just stay home. <laughs> well, I, I I mean I I Steve, can you put on the calendar that I gotta I'm supposed to lay on the ground and then there's a piece of paper that shows a lady doing it. I, it's like I gotta like. <laughs> It doesn't even make sense. It's I just, like you're like, talking can, about like a can, breast can, exam. Can, can, you, can you show us show what yourself how to fix it? No, I can't because it's a stage. There's can't, I, I can't. No, I can't show you. I'll describe it. I'll describe it. If you do it, like, show us what you're supposed to do. It's going to look like a man laying down. I, yeah, well, let's try it out. It's but if you do it in the future and they ask you, like, did you do it or not, you can play your, your hit podcast and have everyone going, yay! Yeah. Going, Maybe these people. What a- what if You're you, witnesses. You, you can, can do it on a table. Do it on a table. I could do it on the table. Do it on the table. Do, 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 do it on the table. Do it on the table. Lay down. That's a bad idea. That, that right? table seems on like on it's table. not really. But that would be test. perfect. That would be great. Do it on the table. Just do it on the table. No, no. I mean, like, like what? This is. This is. This great. Oh shit! All right. I hate, I hate, I hate these parts of the podcast because it's like I, I always, I always imagine being the person that's here for the first time, and that's they're like, "Why did you take me here?" <laughs> well, because he's a so great he, writer. He, Dan's well, laying, he's not writing. Dan's laying on his back with his knees up. Okay, so this is the exercise. Right. Like my, I, I think. Let's count like, them off, people. I go like this. One. I, get, I think I just Dude. go like that, I think. Well, I can't remember. Good. I can't yeah, tell what's oh, wait, happening. No, no, no. I keep my ass on the floor, and then the small on my back is supposed to be like and that. Yeah. Keep reaching for the stars. And then, <laughs> and then, and then I flatten it. I can't. And then I go like that. It's three. And then I flatten it. He's arching his back. Right. Okay. Four. Yeah. I, I'm, so, just, I'm just looking right at your crotch. I can't see anything. Else. So, podcast dynamite, I, right? Right. No, at but least, no, no. We're, we're getting you some exercise. You, you, you have... Plausible deniability now with your with your chiropractor. If he if he said once a week do it, then I could do it every week here. Yeah, you you, you, you could put on you could put on a rap beat and I could like I could do a fl- I could do a core. Yeah, do it to the beat. Yo, yeah, do it to yeah. the beat. Yeah, strengthen your core. Yo, yeah, yeah, strengthen your core. Yo. Yeah. There's a group of muscles between your ass and your back. It's called your core. Gonna keep your life on track. It's gonna make your posture clean. Gonna make it neat. I'm gonna fuck your mama so hard. I'm bringing the heat pad. Heat pad going down on your cool crack. You fuck your mama so hard. She's going forward and back. I cure her back. I straighten her spine. I fuck your mama like Curly. Fuck her like Larry Fine. Whoa. Dr. Mo. Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, paging your mama just in time. Got the three stooges to room 213. I fucked your mama so hard. You know what I mean? Unenthusiastic applause. There are three kinds of applause in the world. Enthusiastic. Everybody, put your hands together for Kanye Jesus. Oh shit, Kanye Jesus. Yo, yo, I'm Mr. Back Problems. I'm Mr. Back Problems coming around. I'm a new character. I'm Mr. Back Problems. I love bad backs. I'm a, the rhythm I love of the bad backs. I'm Mr. Back Problems. I'm Mr. Back Problems. It's a new character. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's Mr. Back Problem. Mr. Back No, problem. don't, Andy. Oh, oh, geez, Dave Klein. Andy, Dave Klein. I mean, stand up and show people why I would confuse you. I'm not a dick. <laughs> it's a, we're, we're breeding a super race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What if, if these guys? This would be a perfect tag team wrestling match. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Banger Brothers are coming out. Oh, here come the, the follicle uh, friends. Uh. <laughs> Hey Derek, remember uh, yeah. uh, b- before Channel One One was a thing, uh, Dan, Rob, Chris Tallman, and I we get together. We said, so let, let, like, let's make Jaws Four. 
Like, like a, no, no one has seen Jaws 4. Like, let's make Jaws 4. Rob made the most shocking <laughs> thing in the world. Where he, it's kind of the beginning he, of everything yeah, for me. Exactly. <laughs> Rob fucked a lemon pretty hard. Uh, orange or a lemon? It was an orange, but it was a little on the yellow it side. It came off lemon it on camera. A little ripe, yeah. And my dick was Jaws. Your dick was Jaws. <laughs> he, he, he made a duct tape uh, fin with, with a number four on it. <laughs> Am I right in yeah. saying that Bill Cosby was, in, was involved? No, it was Michael Caine. Michael Caine. But he talked like he Bill Cosby. He sounded like Bill Cosby. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm Michael Caine. I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that still online? It's the and worst. No, Comedy Central put it on their <laughs> homepage at one point, <laughs> not realizing that my dick was in it because they... <laughs> Because Sarah, Sarah said, Sarah I, loved it. Sarah saw that that video and said, "I want this guy to direct my pilot," and uh, and then they and then somebody said, "Oh, it's like on 101," and then they went, "Oh, okay, well we'll put a link up to there," and it was up there for like yeah. a week, and it's, people were going, "Holy shit! Yeah. A little warning! <laughs> this is there's a dick in the don't do it," and then they pulled it down. Um, there, there's one line of dialogue and I won't repeat it's pretty fucking it's pretty out there uh, you know you know what I'm talking about no I'm not gonna say it okay I, I, I will let the audience watch it it's very, I don't think it's up there anymore I took no? it, uh, I took uh, it down YouTube won't have it I don't think Just so Just 4 must exist I don't think so it's so good I can't but, believe it's not out there but, nah, the, but then, no. then I, I think right after that we all said let's make everyone make the next Batman yeah and so you, Dan made a Batman, which is also, if you haven't seen Dan Harmon's Dan's, Batman. Dan's Batman's pretty funny. It's also, it goes all the way ar- yeah. around the bend. Uh, it's you. What I remember about that Batman that I made is my dear girlfriend at the time, Robin Roth, very lovely and talented, who was my roommate. And she, she volunteered to, because one of the scenes, was, it was a dark look into Batman's life. And he was, it was, it, and, and at one point he's, 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 he has to, he, it's, it just cuts to him in bed with his girlfriend wearing the Batman mask, and he's saying to his girlfriend, who is naked, um, uh, get, get, uh, get up on your knees, I want to kiss you while I jerk off. And, 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 but it's, and it's just supposed to be creepy and sad and lonely, because even when he's with someone, he's alone. And, and then, but, and she, but she's... <laughs> Like I, f- I remember I set up the camera on a tripod and like like we got into frame and like Robin's uh, 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 nipples were out of frame on the viewfinder. Like these are the early days of digital video. <laughs> and, like I remember just like the kind of overscan. Like I didn't know all the terminology. I remember like when the video went online, it was like no, her nipples are well in frame. Like it's just it's just my topless girlfriend g- uh, giving me a hand job. <laughs> anyway, I don't know the early. Uh, those are the days, and then 9/11 happened, and everyone, everything changed. But even though it's 9:13 now, so we missed it. Uh, am, am I? Am I? No, bad? Jeff, we'll never miss it. <laughs> You're right, Dan. You know what? It's, it's, it's 9/11 in our hearts. <laughs> and mine, I, I made a Batman, and I asked Derek to be my villain in it, and his character was called Pussy Magnet. <laughs> And he had a, uh, I made him a necklace that was like a magnet with the word pussy on it. <laughs> and we showed up at your dojo, and you're like, Jeff, like, I, I can do some like karate moves. Cause I, 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 it was to kickstart my heart, I think, with Motley Crue. Yeah. And you're like, I, I pulled my groin on a, on a show, and uh, so I can't really do it. If you, if you can never see this, he, you're doing giant flying kicks and everything, like, like you played so hard while hurt. It's amazing. But that's, that's part of your thing. It's because I love you. Aww. Hey, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> so when I, when, I, when I met you, like, you were, I mean, like, 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 like you, I, I always say, I don't know if it's offensive to you, but because I'm trying to create an image in people's head, like, you looked from, like, the dude from Powder. Like, 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 like that, when I, the first time I ever met you, like, like, because it's amazing when you meet somebody who's all, like, like, who's j- jacked up and looks good. It's like, it's hard to imagine that they ever actually bothered to just, like, transform themselves uh, without permission. But you, you could have easily just been a dude in a trench coat just hanging out on a campus behind a tree. Uh, uh, and it's just like using psychic powers to, you know, 
uh, to, to, to get back at people. But, but, but instead, you went, you went this route. And uh, one of my questions is, like, can you remember that point in your life when you, like, 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 where you went from just what God had dealt you to, like, deciding to, like, like just do stuff <laughs> like would you, <laughs> did you get fit and yeah like like what was the yeah, threshold it, well, like what pushed you across that threshold well it was well when I, I grew up in Bakersfield California and um I, I grew up I, I love com- when it wasn't cool it was like comic book sci-fi horror uh I got into acting because of Dungeons and Dragons going like oh man I want to do this someday professionally how do I do that oh an actor perfect um but I also grew up as a different kid because I had the alopecia and so what alopecia is for people who don't know uh, is when your your body rejects your hair. Uh, just I've had it my entire life, but just recently, like the last four years, I could grow a goatee for some reason. Yeah, I know. Which is bizarre. I was uh, like, liar, look at his facial hair. No way. <laughs> Bull crap. But it was weird also going to your friends who are an adult male and going like, hey, how do you, at, at, at 40 plus, going like, how do you, how do, you shave? Do you, do you do this? Has that stopped recently? I remember the last time no, I no, saw still, you. No, no, I keep shaving it for shows. So all of a sudden there's just show. this goatee out of nowhere. Yeah. At, yeah. Weird. Okay, it's yeah, like we'll put in that. Me. We'll talk about that in a second. But yeah. yeah, but no, I got to the point. I moved to L.A. to do acting and comedy, and um, uh, it's actually uh, Jeff was the one who turned me on to going to this class uh, with Sam Christensen, where all you guys were going to class, and we I joined in with everybody doing the Sam Christensen class. Me and class. Marco from Die Hard. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and, and that class, it's a, um, I learned about like what, what Joseph Campbell and Carl Young. It's kind of an amalgamation of the two put together. And I learned about uh, uh, my essences and what I give off as a human being. I went, wait a second. If I worked out, I could be like the big bad guy in TV and film. Everyone's like, oh, you were like the jock in school. Like, you know, you could do, like, you're the super fit guy. I go, no. I could, like, I was the kid, you know, like getting picked on, like, that could maybe do a pull up or whatever. And that was about it. Wait, so what did you learn in Sam's class? You're saying you were in Sam's class when you were still scrawny, yeah. for lack of a better word. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so what were you hearing from Sam's class that made you think if you got jacked up, what, what, what were you hearing? Well, uh, Sam's really nice because he, he brings me up to other students where he talks about you find out what your essences are. Like when you walk into a room, what you give off to people if you're just quiet and, and uh, uh, just like what they're, they're, who they are. Um, like there, in the old days, what we used to do is go to like the uh, um, airport and like, for example, just hypothetically, we'd go there and like Dan would stand on the corner and I have a list of, of uh, adjectives on a piece of paper and I would walk around to strangers and go, hey, my friend Dan Harmon, um, we're in an acting class together. That hey, guy can, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you mark any uh, adjective do you think applies to Dan just by looking at him without him saying anything? And after about a hundred of these or so, you start seeing the same patterns, like some of the same words repeat over and, and I over I literally again. did that exercise and you t- you t- you think like, oh, this is horse shit. You take them home and go, why do – it's an international terminal. So a lot of these people are just like from Poland. Yeah. And like, like I, and it's like, why does everyone think I'm sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 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 like sta- everyone yeah. thinks you're I'm sta- sarcastic. You're standing like 50 feet away. And I, I, you're I just, standing, there, you're standing there neutral. A, pl- a check off things that apply to this person and everybody agrees. I got sarcastic, lazy, smart – uh, that's that's it. Like, I, that's, all, that's all I remember. I'm like, how do you know I'm lazy? <laughs> that you, I, I, like, like, I'm t- and sarcastic. But the the, the thing like, is, like, they they might all be wrong about whether or not you're lazy. You might not be lazy because right. like you're, you're you're a workaholic. You're not, I don't think of you as a lazy person, but strangers all want unanim- Rob does. unanimously agree. <laughs> Who Rob <laughs> makes a lot of comments about it. <laughs> I I, I, went, I went with a guy who looked like Charles Bronson. who was like this tough dude with like a mustache. And I would go like, like I would say like people like this is back in the days where you could walk into the terminal like before a flight with, like before you had to go through security you could just, you could be at the gate without going through security yeah. and so you'd say like see that guy over there we're in an acting class you, your flight is delayed um, if you guys have, if you got, if you got nothing better to do. Check off what you think applies to this person, and people love it because you get to pass. because there's not a lot of shit to do at the airport, especially this is before 9/11 and before the before Ruby massive Tuesday. amount of this is before Candy Crush, this is before yeah, yeah, exactly this is before Words with Friends, this is before Certainly. people had shit to do. As you go, oh, oh, I, I get to pass judgment on a stranger yeah. for, for, with no consequences. It. It's, it's hilarious. And so also, if you want to write things down, extra things at the bottom, do <laughs> yeah. that too. And the thing is, they all said the same shit. So <laughs> I, we got 50. Like Sam Christensen said, like. Do five if you trust me. Do five hundred if you don't. Like the thing is, it's going to be the same information no matter right. what. Like everyone's going to agree that. Remember Shrub, we to the weekend intensive, and you're not supposed to tell anybody what's on your cards because then you do an intensive version where your student, your fellow students, are writing shit down during exercises. <laughs> Shrub was all sullen. 
he's mad. We were walking down the sidewalk out of the thing, and I was like, "Man, this fucking this is fucking great." Because I like looked at my cards, and you looked at yours. And you're not supposed to talk to each other at lunch about your cards, and. Uh, <laughs> Rob said, he said, Rob's bummed out. And I said, what's going on, man? You're not having a good time? He's like, I don't know, man. And I'm like, what? 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 what is it? It's like, it like, someone said I look like C-3PO. <laughs> I'm not C-3PO. He was like, m- moving his fuck. Fo- like, like, I, I was like, are you doing a bit? Are you doing a bit? I yeah. wasn't. I no, wasn't I'm not. I'm not C-3PO. I, I wasn't. I only speak five million languages. <laughs> I, <laughs> but, okay, so Derek. Uh, so in that well, hang, of, hang on. So, so <laughs> the, the, the guy I went to the airport with, this, this like kind of tough Charles Bronson looking dude, we, we got in the car and I, I, I got teamed up with him. I didn't really want to be this guy's partner. Turned out to be the most informative thing in the world. Because we got in the car and he's looking through the stuff and he's like, he's going through his, everything's like, <laughs> Why does everybody say suspicious? <laughs> I'm like, dude, you're a suspect. <laughs> like, you're suspicious of them. I'm suspicious of you. <laughs> and also, the same guy actually got up and it's like, why do people keep saying I'm loud? <laughs> and walked out. And, and it, watching other people reject their shit was amazing. But Rob, like, like. I know I had one that made me cry. Like, I was like, oh, that's fucking exactly how you say that thing. And you had one that I loved. It's uh, uh, Last Puppy at the Pound. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. But also, because you, you, you root for the Last Puppy at the Pound. He, like, he's the cute one. Yeah, and the Last Puppy at the Pound manipulates people. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what, 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 what was your breakthrough on, Dan? My was a mud monster on shore leave, <laughs> uh, which I, I personally find because like, it's like I'm a mud, I'm from the fucking shitty slimy world, but I'm on vacation. I like, I like, I like clean, soft, frilly. Like I like, I like the real world. I love it. I just don't belong in it. So I'm just like, that's fucking awesome. That's, you're so clean. <laughs> You know, that's why I love Hugh Jackman. That's why, that's why like, like, when we worked with him, I'm like, I fucking love that guy. That's why I, I, love, I, love, I, love, I love fucking handsome, pretty things. I love, I love, I love, I love clean, but I'm never going to be. I'm like, I'm on short leave. I'm yeah. like, I'm, but I don't want to hang out. Like, it's, like, it's like when an L.A. person goes to Portland and they, they keep apologizing for it being overcast. It's like, motherfucker, why do you think I came here? I live in a desert. Like, I'm, that's me with mud. Like I'm, I'm a mud monster what, on shore leave. What was yours, Derek? My main one. Yeah. My main one was I've been many places, but I've never forgotten where I've come from. I like that. So you started lifting weights. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was no? The, no okay. I, I had like a, a lot of like, like, uh, like, uh, uh, what was it? I, I have this gentle tough guy thing working like a Swiss watch, and I had another one where it was like a superhero in search of superheroine for meaningful exchange of superpowers. <laughs> And so there's a lot of comic booky type things. I'm you're, like, wait, if I worked out, you're getting I could be these the big things. Bad guy. You felt like you you were like a Dexter in Space Ace, but you weren't Space Ace yet. <laughs> oh my god, that's a reference. Applause, <laughs> never. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. Don man. Bluth, laser disc game. A Space Ace reference. <laughs> uh, uh, when did I become the guy that's like, I made a reference? Is this when I got, I just cast on this could, ice could, float. Could we apply Sam Christensen knowledge on Spencer and give him an essence? Ooh, that's a good one. Spencer, Spencer's essence is, uh, I am taking over your ship and sailing it into Cock Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> I am a, a Viking place. of pussy. No, I don't. Uh, it's a fun place. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Spencer's essence is, uh... This is weird, right? That's one of them? <laughs> the, 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 thing, the thing about this, this class is, it's, it's amazing. Like, Drew Carey, like, I, I took it, like, a long time ago. And I told Drew about it. And he goes, and, and Drew's famous. And we're, we're taking a road trip together. And he's like, I want to know who I am. I, 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 what do, like, the, the whole point is that, like, there's things that people, strangers, friends instantly agree about you whether they're right or wrong they all go like if, if we looked at you and go like like are you do you like to swim or do you hate getting your hair wet they would all agree or disagree on that they would but it would be unanimous you might be a, an olympic swimmer but they might go no she doesn't like to get her hair wet because this is an essence about you I'm, I'm just making you know off the top of my head uh so 
it's it's this thing like like you, you find out like all the things you wish people thought about you they maybe they don't also some things that you wish that you like like you, I hope people think of this they do think that but they well what it, I mean the big thing is that everything that sticks out about you when you're six years old uh, is the same forever well everyone notices everything that's special about you like 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 it it it's just it, it doesn't it doesn't have to be who you are it's just like it's the way you stick out. It's the edges that you have. Right. It could, it doesn't have to be a glamorous. It's not always like we we're raised on myths like the ugly duckling and Rudolph and things where we get that concept that oh maybe the thing that you think is ugly will make you beautiful, but that still enforces the idea of utility and beauty. Um, it, it, the the more important thing to realize is that uh, when you're on the playground, it, 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 you just you're you're differently shaped than everyone around you and and you your early experiences with what makes you different are neg- usually negative experiences because uh the the people they're, around they're, you they're the things that stick out they're practicing being a society which is like water which erodes away at rough edges so like like all of our early experiences like learn hearing things about ourselves are experiences of like crowds gathering around us and going Nanny, nanny, panty, panty. <laughs> like, like, I just have something that's like, like, I'm not a panty, panty. I, 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 like, and it only means something to us. Like, it's, it's like something that they figured out. They fucking, ugh, they zeroed in on it. And, and it, it might even just be the fact that you hate attention. Like, that's for a lot of people. And, and it's like, and then they, they fucking hone in. And a lot of us who are destined for interesting things or, you know, just hard things, like, that's when we, have to practice being special whether we like it or not and they get to practice being a society whether they like it or not what was amazing is in the class you like there were there was women in my class this like young or middle-aged women that they have to find out how the world thinks of them as pretty or beautiful and there was a couple gals that were really beautiful and the way that the world thinks like the way they describe their beauty is really hard for them to hear because they've been tortured by that since they were little girls and so, like, for them to own the fact that, like, there was, was uh, I won't say her name because she's on TV and you all know her. She's, she's, she's won Emmys and shit. Um, she, 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 she was in the class and, and she's, Faye Dunaway. she's a Latina. Amy Esperanza. <laughs> yes, it was Amy Esperanza. Uh, people in the class uh, are, you, you, um, Secretly write down ways to describe things about people, and they kept saying "hot tamale." <laughs> and she's like, "I'm not a hot tamale." I'm like, no, you. F-. Like, it's like Sam's like, "You're a hot tamale." Whether you like, <laughs> they're it or racist, not. but yeah. But, you're- <laughs> but she's like, I- "I've heard that since I was a little girl." Like, like you're gonna hear that till you die. Like Catherine Hepburn when she was, uh, how old was she when Philadelphia Story came out? Like 18, 19, like very young. Uh, all the reviews called her feisty. Everyone said, she's feisty, she's feisty, she's feisty. Then when she's, whatever, 70 or whatever, she wasn't on Golden Pond, crusty. When you're older, right. uh, they call you crusty. What they're talking about is an essence of defiance. Right. She was, when you're a defiant 18-year-old woman, you're feisty. When you're defiant 70-year-old woman, you're crusty. <laughs> it's fi- but fl- what, flavor yeah, becomes yes. like, hey, who poisoned my food? Yeah. But what they're talking about is like, uh, the, the, Catherine Hepburn's essence is, uh, she d- never needed men. Mm-hmm. It was a complete defiance of masculinity, and that's uh, we have different names for that when you're young and when you're old. Well, also one of the one of the things he had us do in that class is he said, "Go home, grab your yearbooks." Uh, I don't even know if you kids do the yearbook thing anymore. It's like like it's so many more. You know, it's like that was the last time anyone was ever gonna say shit to you. They would write all this shit in your yearbook. Also, all your love letters, we would pass like loose leaf love letters, and I, I, I would like, I, you know, you'd keep them all. It's like, like, like our generation, we'd have boxes of them. He said, "Go home, grab the notes from the girls in your high school um, when they started, when it, when things were going good, when they liked you, and then go all the way through, and uh, when, when they have a problem with you, and look at the fact that." The uh, there's just two different words for what makes you who you for are, the same thing, yeah. and when they're when they're hot for you, you're capricious, <laughs> and when they're dumping you, you're f- scatterbrained. Yeah, for yeah, for, for me, my, my like all my yearbook stuff. Uh, that, there's, there's different neighborhoods of things. Like there's a way to describe how you're attractive, or how you're funny, or how you're smart, or how you're lonely, or how you're weird, or how you're you know 
you know, you're fucked up. Like, like we have these neighborhoods of these different qualities of ourselves. One of mine is, if you like me, confident, poised. If you don't like, if if you don't like me, cocky, arrogant, like a piece of shit. They're like, it's like <laughs> this piece of shit just thrown in. <laughs> exactly. That's like the cheese on the cheese fries. <laughs> <laughs> So, so <laughs> piece of shit could go on anything. But so, uh, like, so, yeah, I'll take it. For, for, for me, the, for, for me, the one that blew my mind, like, we're like Sam was like, all right, of course. Uh, uh, the one that blew my mind is like, we're, we're trying to figure out. Like Sam was like, there's a way to describe the fact. Because it it's not enough to say Jeff that you're cocky because you are cocky, but uh, but also you're not just arrogant. You, uh, also, you're not just poised. You're not just. You know, self-confident. Like, there's a way to describe. You that. also have a huge cock. <laughs> Thank you. He asked me about that too. for coming to this class. <laughs> so anyway, I'm fucking. Sam I'm going to write you a check fucking... right now for taking this class. <laughs> but so he he like, he has these books of slang and like you go through the, the OED and all this stuff. You're trying to find the perfect way to word things. And he wrote it down. And he goes, Jeff. He goes. I think you're going to like this. I don't think anybody else in the world would. I think that you might actually agree with this and like this description of that neighborhood of stuff. And it was, he wrote it down on a piece of paper and gave it to me. And I like hit his desk and, and started crying. I was like, exactly. And it was not conceited, just convinced. <laughs> I, I said, yeah, I don't think I'm better than you. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> Only a dick would think he was better than you. I just am. Let's get, let's move on. I could be a great guy. But, but like you, <laughs> you can laugh and you go like, oh, like, yeah, like, I, I'm a prick. But it's but there's a there's a charm to that prickiness and there's a thing like. No, we always circle that because it's like there's some people that turn you off with their confidence because it's like oh that dick and then it's like some people rise they go so somebody strata up that they're like. Oh yeah, I got nothing to worry about. So let me take you out on the dance floor and give you a twirl. You know, like like oh yeah, I'm not I'm not battling those dragons. So let me share my wealth with you. There, there was a girl in my class uh, who is a great actor, Silas, and she's amazing. And also, again, you would know who she was. Uh, she is the one that turned me on to the class. And Gina she, Davis, huh? Gina Davis, <laughs> <laughs> Judy Dench, uh, <laughs> and she, she there, was, there was one essence that we could, that she could never agree on, and and. We all in the class knew exactly what it was, and it was impossible. And she would never f- figure out the last one. And we, we'd all just say to her, you're impossible. And that doesn't mean bad. Like, impossible is amazing. Because, like, like, there's no pleasing you, but also, like, you're the most important person to try to please. Like, like you're just beyond pleasing. Like, oh, you're it's, just, she it, ended up marrying Tom Cruise. <laughs> Judy Dench. <laughs> uh, but, but there, there was a, a girl in our class, uh, and she stormed out, and she goes, "Hard to handle." She was German. She's hard to handle. Fuck this class. And we're like, we're like, I'm not C three PO. Also, Rob, Rob, you have a good one that I love. It's a uh, little green man. Yeah. Oh, little green man. I yeah. love that one. Yeah, yeah. Little green man. Because you are from outer space, in, a, in, a, in an awesome way. And that's the C three PO essence too. Like, I that's guess. The thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not Boba Fett. Dan, one of my, one of your essences that I love is uh, unspeakable sadness. <laughs> right? It's unspeakable. All right. Well, that was driver. That's why I text you. <laughs> try to try to try to help you through that sadness without speaking. No, no, no. It's, it's uncomfortable, so I text you. And you know, even though you don't text back, I hear you. It's okay. It's I okay. One of the cards from that class that somebody wrote uh, that that led to that being one of my essences, which is what you get from this class, was. Uh, and this really, really, like, it triggered me. Like, like, it's just it's weird when you hear the shit that's like, F- ah, what the fuck? Uh, like, I, you know, in the class you do monologue. Like, like Sam goes, tell us about a. An animal that changed your life. Oh boy! And you'll like like you'll talk for three minutes, um, and the other students scribble. He, he he gives the students an exercise. He goes, "I want you to compare Dan to a weather phenomenon on your card." He he just, he just like gives you specific instructions yeah. to get you out of your head. But like, and sometimes he goes like, "Free anything like like no category." Dan, talk about uh, a celebrity you hate or whatever. So I talk for a while, and then I got my cards, and one of them just said. Talk, 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 wounded. Whoa! (laughs) 
my favorite. Uh, when I went to the Harvey airport, no likey. When, 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 Still when, gets when, me. When I went to the airport, there was a bunch of uh, there was a big like a bunch of like middle aged like maybe like thirties, forties, fifties black women that were all traveling together as a family. The worst. Um, oh, oh, I thought that's where you were going. And, and so. My Charles, Shit, my Charles it. Bronson guy, like, like you, they're all, you also asked, like you say, also if you want to just freestyle and write shit on your own at the bottom of it, and somebody wrote, and I, I love this one. She goes, that white boy crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I was just, I was just standing there. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Uh, but Sp- Spencer, like I, that white boy uh, crazy. Like, what, we said, oh, like, like Drew Carey. Like he, uh, so we're, we're in the car, and he's like, I want to know who I am. And he went and took the class, and he, you know, he was still like, in the Drew Carey show was still happening. That's like, crazy. They, they wrote, someone wrote, The Price is Right. <laughs> I said, he hadn't, he hadn't. When he. That was his essence. I, I saw Drew. And then he went to the show, and it was like. I went to go see, I, I went to go see a Greg Proops comedy show, and, and Drew was there, and, and he goes, uh, Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's a hair. That's a hair trigger. You. Proop you. Proop you. Proop you. Can I get a proop you? Uh, it's a. This is hilarious. I I I saw for sure he was doing a bit, but he wasn't. I saw Drew at a gig, and he goes, "Hey man, so um." I just got called by Les Moonves from CBS, and they, they're, they're offering me to be in, like the, the like the new host of Price is Right. I'm like, are you going to do it? And he goes, you know, I'm like, I guess if the money's good enough. I was like, no, if the Price is Right. <laughs> it's like if the money's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they meet my quote, I'm like, come no. on forward. That was, your, that was your one chance. <laughs> that was your one chance. <laughs> if the money's oh. good enough, I'm like, I, I was like, I, I looked at him like, are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> so, so Drew went and took the class, and he then sent everybody he knew, like all the people on the Drew Carey set. He like paid for people to go to take this uh, Sam Christensen's class. You must do it, even if you're not an actor. It's really great, like, self-knowledge stuff. It really does liberate you in terms of, like, agreeing with the fact that the world knows who you are, whether you like it or not. And also, um, there's some stuff that you think you are, but you're just fucking not. And, like, and, and, like, you, like you learn... Well, there's to- some, and there's a lot of stuff that people are always going to think you are and yeah. fucking get over it. Yeah. Like, 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 people think that I don't like them. And right. like now at this stage they're right. Well, like, for, like but I, 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 I told Sam. I was like, 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 we'd have back in the old days. Like you would talk to Sam, and he's like Jeff. He's like you're a really loyal guy. Like you're loyal to your friends. Like you you will stick with your friends no matter what. Like, you're a loyal person. He goes, but that's not one of your essences. No, you don't walk in a room and go, oh, this dude's true blue. Like he will always stick with me. That's, you don't walk in the room looking like that. That's something that you know after meeting you, but it's not. You, like, that, that's not an essence of yours. So get, like, get over that one. So Drew went, and what I love about Drew, one, one of his was, and one that really set Drew Carey free, which is amazing, and he was so happy to learn this. One of his essences is, I'm doing the best I can with what I've got. <laughs> and he's like, and I'm a millionaire. <laughs> and he goes he goes but I'm just still trying the best I can <laughs> but it's like, like a, that's exactly a great, who he is it's like a, you can say that that's a phrase you can say when you want to do an impression of Drew Carey yeah. eh, I'm doing the best I can with what I got yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Drew, Drew, like, he's like am I allowed to know that about myself he's like look at what I have like, like I can't, I can't say that. He said, "No, it doesn't matter what you think." All right, it's Derek Mears. Oh, knows. sorry, didn't no, no, mean to. No, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I, I, See, I'm, I, I'm bad at this. I'm bad. Talk, at this. talk, talk. Wounded. <laughs> so, Derek. You're a muscle man. <laughs> Are you going to hit me like my dad? Uh, I, 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 like, like, I, I just like, that's not like a weird... Uh, uh, when you're physically fit, like, I, like all I've ever known is, as I, I look in the mirror and I go, all right, that's a sea otter. 
that's a baby. Like, and that's how I came out of the womb, and I've never done any exercise, and I'm like, still look like a baby. And then, like, if I start to look like a fat baby, then I'm like, ah, oh, man, I gotta figure something out. And then I'm like, okay, I look like a baby again. But then other people are like, and then they like look like, like GI Joe. Yep. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Black Ops. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your ringtone? <laughs> when you have to do what? wet work, it's like, it's not what you think. It's not discreet. It's like, it's the whole room. <laughs> You're in an opera house. It's like, Aah! and then it's like, and the, and the opera singer's like, <laughs> he's checking his phone, and you're like, hiding in plain sight. And you break everyone's neck in the opera house. (laughs) (laughs) Or just in your row. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. (laughs) Um, (laughs) This is... uh, Like, like, when you're fit, when you're made of muscle, when you look good, when you're a... (laughs) When you're a hot piece of action... (laughs) <laughs> what like so like what I'm what? so being judged by everybody right now like meh I don't what? know Dan's talking a little much what's the what's the terror how do you what do you uh, we're all gonna have to be 80 if we're lucky what do you how do you what's what my go to once my body falls apart yeah what's your what, what do you do is there a day that you stop like and then are you terrified of that like oh shit what like now if i fucking skip monday (laughs) no honestly a lot of the the training and whatnot is is for my job like my job is to tell stories i love stories and i you told my mom when i was younger i don't need to be rich or famous i want to play with my friends and just make a living and it's just been amazing um no no don't no no but it's the no. like, when you get up to discipline for, for writing and whatnot, like you, you work on writing, I work on, my, I, I know what sells, but also, I mean, I also, my, my backup plan, I also have a brain, so I create things and... No, 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 okay, yeah, okay. God, now I feel like a dick. Oh, no, I, no, no, I wasn't trying no, to be that way. No, because I'm, I'm just wondering, because I'm like, every day I look in the mirror, I try not to, I try as hard as I can not to, but I like look in the mirror and I'm like, okay, like an A cup, B cup, getting a B cup, like I, I, I make these like judgments, like we all look at our bodies and we go like, ah, fuck... And like you, like, and then there's these people who like fucking like. What do you mean these people? I mean you. Uh, the the like 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 you have a regimen. Shrabs one of them too. Like is it like 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 what you you guys like fucking like you got you you're in the zone like you're doing you're healthy and so then you look in the mirror and then like I'm just wondering like do you like what, isn't there like a like a, a dust bowl behind you like 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 do, how does that how does the human body work i don't know how does that work like like do you have to be when you go to the gym are there 70 year old dudes that are like just like yeah, sometimes like, yeah yeah like, like keeping it up a lot of is it that whole use it, use it or lose it mentality but also after you get past a certain certain age your growth hormone stops producing as much as it used to and so you'll you your body starts to die basically where it starts to not being as spry and agile as it used to be but if you just keep that i always call that spoonful of sugar where it's like oh man if i do this i'll feel good and i can do what else i want to do during the day and also it helps me with my job to sell what my product is as being that big bad guy i I meet people left and right going oh my god you're i saw you in this or that and you're a a murderer and you scared the crap out of me but i meet you in person you're a human being i'm like yeah we all have skills and my life philosophy is like we all have skills in different areas no one's better than anybody else do what you love and try to move forward when, when does what what age yep. does your body die? What uh, age? Is it? <laughs> we need to know. It's yeah. usually like the uh, uh, like from forty four things start to to start to climb. Okay, so I'm forty three. So 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 I can eat Pringles for breakfast for another year, and then just start working out. And then <laughs> no, no, no. The, 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 the philosophy for that is like, like, like my. Uh, 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 I gotta go kill myself. <laughs> uh, no, it's kind of like if, if you. Oh no. Uh, oh. What? Okay. Well, I thought that, Dave was okay. joining him. 
That's awesome. No, uh, uh, like, like, like. <laughs> oh, no. What? Rob is now, uh, for the home audience, pretending yeah. to murder himself uh, he, behind he, glass. He, he, yeah, Rob killed himself with uh, uh, a gun loaded with stolen focus. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something prisoners use when they're deprived of... No, as long as you keep using your muscle. Like, I mean, and, and muscles in, in general, like, like with you with writing, like you're using your brain, whatever you use, it'll stay active. In my opinion, I hope. <laughs> so it's, I mean, is it, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think of the just the most crass way to phrase the thing. Is it, is it Say like, it. like, We're like, friends. like, like? Obviously, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I'm gonna die sooner and look worse the whole time, and it'll, uh, and I'll never like the longer I wait, the harder it'll be for me to start just like being healthy. And I'm just wondering on the other – there's this other railroad track where I see you, one of my friends that I've known for decades. I'm going like, hey. And I'm just wondering, like, what does your railroad track look like? Like, like what are the hazards? Like, like, like what are you worried about? Like, 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 like do, do fit people – like, is there anything – is there ever a point where the tool starts using you? Is there ever – I think shamelessly I kind of, I guess, want to hear, like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's the worst. To, oh, there are days I don't, like, like, I don't want to do it, but it's also my job. So I have to like, – if I'm not working somewhere, I'm going to go, okay, and clock in at the gym and train. But you, you have to stay up on like, like anything in life. Is that what you're, you're getting at? I'm or? not sure what I'm getting at. I'm trying, it's a, part of it is like this like, Midwestern thing of like the, the – uh, the principal was always a former uh, wrestling coach, and then he'd have this like big giant gut. Oh, I and see. And then what the you're kids would whisper to each other and go, "Dude, he was that was all muscle, and muscle turns to fat if you stop using it." So you're saying like I, I, how people identify with things? So if they identify that's who I am. I'm the guy. No, who's no, no, big no, 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 no. I'm that, talking goes- physiologically. I'm talking about like what is the. What, I, I, I'm actually talking purely physiologically, okay. not like what what we should where our value system should gotcha. be. I'm talking about actually like how does that shit work? Like if you if you're fucking like if you look awesome and are like doing like 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 putting all that work into it, is there a is there a is there a fucking like like, is there an anxiety to that that sets in where it's like, oh, shit, like, now I look so awesome that, like, 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 now I'll look like Dan Harmon if I stop tomorrow. I don't know what I'm trying to add. If, you, if, to, like, you're, if you're really muscle bound, you have to be careful. Like, at some point, like, you, that, that muscle can turn to fat or can turn to that, 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 that big ex football coach belly that's really hard like a watermelon, that, that kind of stuff. Is that just something fat people say to make themselves feel better? I or think. is the, that, that idea that... That like like muscle turns to fat kind of no, thing. It does. It, 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 it doesn't. Like I said before, if you don't use it, fat. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, you'll you'll definitely Spencer, lose it. Spencer, do you exercise at all? No, not a bit. Do N- nothing. No, of course not. But you, but you seem like like uh, since I've known you, which is now what three four years? Uh, how long? How long? Three four years. Uh, <laughs> like you maintain a certain like s- like s- steady physique. Like you don't like fluctuate. I I I gain weight. Jesus, you can. <laughs> I fluctuate. I think for for me, like, uh, it, like if I ate what I wanted to, like my, my favorite thing in the world is like a four a.m. burrito. It's the greatest thing in the world. Like just like just eat a bunch of bullshit. Like after you drank all night long. But he's vegetarian. A, he means uh, no, like, like, like go, go to Benito's Tacos and eat just a shit ass burrito. And like, like and and, and what, what, until I turned thirty, I could never gain a pound. Then one day I looked. I was like, oh fuck, I got a big ass belly. I look like Sinor Cartgage from home, from Homestar Runner. Look good, uh, <laughs> tall and skinny with a giant belly. I'm like, this is fucking like like I, I have to curb that shit. Here's your secret. I mean, but you won't do this because you're not vain like I am. Buy suits that you love, and if you can't fit in them, <coughs> stop it. <laughs> stop doing what you're doing. Get back in the suits. Don't oh, don't no, let I, them out like fucking like right. like I, I, I buy suits that I fit into and if I if I, if I can't fit in them, then exercise and diet get get it back on. That's track. visualizing your goals and where you want to be. It's Precisely a, it makes it concrete and more attainable that way. Yeah. Also, as you get older, I gotta say it sounds dumb. Yoga. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Because you you are, you need 
flexibility and agility in your joints and stuff like that. Like, like when you do that stuff, you can spring up and down staircases like a, like a gazelle. Uh, but, but otherwise, you just, your, your joints are creaking like an old... old it's like, like a ratchet strap. If you, your, your whole life you're walking, doing, even not even working out and just doing normal activity. Everything is cranked and cranked every time you engage that muscle. And if you don't undo that, you're, you start getting that, be that old person hunch and, and whatnot. It's not good for the body. It hurts. God, damn it. <laughs> Hey, what, oh man! What, but this is opening my eyes to something. Uh, what's with yoga pants? Because the uh, like, like that seems like a recent thing, and it's like what, I question so, it. What do you, no, I know. I well, I, I I think I support yoga pants in every possible. When did that? Holy. When did that come about? That seems to be like 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 the wait because I keep hearing conflicting I think, reports. I think l- like, l- like, oh, l- l- Lemon came along and made everybody wear yoga pants. Yeah. I guess it's a, okay. Yeah, I asked my girlfriend. It's, 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 that's what it is. It's like uh, uh, money flooded into an area of fashion slash exercise. The and so this new form of pants was developed because I never. I'm like, wait a minute. What? There's pants that like they like yoga pants. They stretch. They, they look like stockings. Like well, no, they, they, they also they, they make your ass look good, <laughs> right? Yeah. But they're also comfortable. Yeah. So previously there so was a dichotomy is, of things that made you look good versus things that were comfortable. But this is a thing that's comfortable that makes it's your like ass look like a perfect storm. Really good. <laughs> I, like, how, what, why didn't they? What, 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 what technology did they? What did they find out in space that led them to? <laughs> uh, Houston, we found a stitch that I don't know. I think Have they, you tried stretch jeans yet for men? No, I'm, I'm, not, making, I'm not making a joke. I swear <laughs> yeah. to God. No, I, I, no. I, I shot this thing in, in Europe, and I, uh, and I tried these uh, uh, pants, and I went, "Oh my God! Wait, these are stretch. They're, they're like yoga pants, but I'm, I'm wearing like some right jeggings? now." Jeggings? No, like the, like these these stretch. They're like they're new like Levi's, but they're oh, super that's flexible. Able to... That's why I'm not oh, killing yeah. my balls trying to kick the ceiling. I was like, because those look like regular jeans. They're you, not. You they're it. flex. Look, they're like four way flex. All right. Well, super comfy. Well, I don't know what else we could possibly cover. <laughs> Uh, I, let's let's d- do a Q and A. Who's got a question for either a uh, a, a lifelong uh, a cinematic stuntman slash monster slash uh, actor. Uh, a goon actor <laughs> in the background uh, slash goon thespian. actor a goon actor? Yeah, I'm with you, Jeff. Well, what? Okay, like, all right. <laughs> you, Dave. 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 Dave Klein has a question. Yep. I believe in the guy goon prince theory of uh, masculine identity. And when you said goon, I think that everyone has a guy who's like kind of a tough guy, a goon who's kind of a fuck up like weirdo, and a prince who's like a piece of royalty. And you got all those pieces in you. He said you got a little bit of goon. What's your guy part and what's your prince part? (laughs) All right. My guy part, uh, the the macho side of background, and uh, uh, not professionally, but but fighting, uh, MMA and whatnot, and training martial arts for a long time. Uh, my prince part is uh, I try to be I, that that philosophy to be good to everybody, and like and also whatever people are. I, I go and do like horror cons and do auto, like autograph signings for different fans here and there. And what I love to do, it, it bumps me out on the social media. I'll see so often people aren't happy with how they look or how they feel about themselves. And I try to empower people going like, man, like I grew, I was the different kid, man. I had no hair. I, I was either, people thought I either had cancer or I was a skinhead, you know, growing up when it wasn't cool to be bald and white. Uh, uh, <laughs> people, oh, that guy's totally white power. Like, no, I swear <laughs> to God, I'm not. Um, but growing up being different and kind of being like it's, a monster it's, it's outcast. It's coming back, though. It's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just randomly. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that yet. But, the, uh, but, but coming back, uh, I mean, being a, uh, um, an adult now, and um, I've got the point I was trying to make. The point was uh, just trying to be, uh, empower people to go, whatever it is that makes you different, step on that gas pedal. Like, no one is like you, and, and, and love, you for, love yourself for who you are. And so I love, like, meeting some of these other guys who are, like, they see some of my roles as being, like, super tough. Oh, man, I can't wait. I've been so much fun. Like, I love to go to bar fights and smash people in the face. I'm like, man, you, right now you're wearing a mask of insecurity because, like, you're trying to be macho. There's no reason for that. We're all human beings. Like, express how you feel and move on. Anyways, I, I meant goon, like, because there's, like, if there's a villain, there's, like, there's goons behind them. So, 
You're either a monster or a guy flying out a window on fire or a goon behind somebody. Anybody have a... He hasn't a, played Othello yet. Anybody have a, a question? It could be a Spencer, a Spencer question. It could be a Rob Don't, question. Could it be doesn't anything. have to be a Spencer question. What hap- what's going on? Uh, we, 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 what we, happened we, to we you? We've broken what down the Q&A. Do? What did you go through? What? He did you just take a huge shit? That couldn't no, have been I a pee. I to the bathroom and answer some emails. He sent some emails. Answer some emails. No, he answered some emails. You're, you're in his show. This All right. Is, this is, this is All Hollywood, right. California. Q&A. All right, sir. I've got a question for Derek. Derek. I know that you've been uh, talking about sense of self and essence, and you've been playing, like, the bad guy, but do you ever, like, have the, not ego part of you, but just you really want that leading role kind of deal where you, not Jason, where you're all masked. Yeah, yeah. Where you I should show yourself. I should repeat that, and then the next time I'll do. Uh, he said, uh, uh, do, uh, "Do you ever uh, crave playing the uh, lead role?" Like, there you go. I probably, <laughs> probably missed some of the nuance. No, I, I've been lucky. I've, I've done like like eighty five different like film and TV projects, but my my mentality is like bouncing back between my normal face and and, and doing monsters. People sometimes a, a tangent of your question are like, "Does that bother you?" Because some of you are like like when you played like Predator or whatnot, that you look we can't tell that it's you. Oh shit! He was classic Predator in the yeah. Predators. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't one of those bullshit Predators. He was like old school Predator. He's like. Hey, little boy, want some candy? <laughs> want some candy? Want, want some candy, boy? <laughs> but to answer your question, as an artist, I, 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 any, any other artist, like you want to like always outdo yourself and do better and better. And yeah. when I get to ask that question, when you it does it bother you when your face is covered up for some of your like bigger roles? I'm not bothered by that at all because my job is to tell a story and to service that story. And don't remember me, remember the characters. When you watch it, when you watch that, ho- uh, sorry. Thanks, Dave. When you when you when you watch Hansel and Gretel, yeah, yeah. which by the way, it's, a, it's a, like like B plus, like fi- the oh. Hansel and Gretel movie. Like like like, re- have you seen it? <laughs> it's a real goon movie. That's gonna bounce off of me because I'm picked on too. The uh, the, the, the 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 but 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 the when you when you watch that movie, are you like? Do you have PTSD, or do you? Are you funny that you bring this up because of a fan just? Because sent me I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, because when I was on, a fan just sent me a thing because AMC just played it for the first time, and they showed like like some of the interviews, like behind the scenes, and they had a whole segment about of me talking about the Edward character, and I literally I'm watching it. Because my arm, like I said, I got a between my five and six, I had a herniated disc, and my whole arm atrophied, and it took about a year to heal. And I'm going to like this German doctors, and like they're giving like spinal, like multiple spinal injections oh, throughout the week. You're shooting overseas, uh, and you're like, oh my god, my yeah, I, body I can't is. move. Yeah, yeah, and, and then it, you're at the mercy of. <laughs> What might be the better medicine or worse medicine? You don't know. Yeah, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it's weird. Like, also, the doctor's name translated to like Doctor Creepy or Doctor Sneaky, <laughs> and I was in tears, going like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> but also, like, like they lay you down. Like, I'm getting the injection. Like this is like kind of like Doctor Frankenstein land. Everybody's talking in German, so you you know you're a little that little bit of like oh, Germans and experiments. <laughs> and so I'm like laying there, and, and like let it go, man. <laughs> Like some like another, can you take you know take off this part of your clothes? And there's like a hot nurse there, also a blonde, you know, German like again. Uh, but they would go like, uh, uh, so Derek, uh, what uh, so uh, 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 your body it is. Yeah, okay, here it comes. And like he would say weird things. I had no idea what the fuck he was saying. Oh my God. And then like, uh, and then he was like, <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> you're like. Christ, the butt. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but anyway, to answer your question, yeah, like PTSD. Like, I'm watching so when it you watch and start movie, cracking my neck. I'm like, Ugh. you're not like Jeremy Renner's hot. You're like, <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, holy shit. Like, 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 you actually like remember like fucking. Pain. Oh, yeah. Like, when you're watching the. Do, are there, are there, there must be. I can't believe that fucking character is not CG, which is the, must be the worst part is that it's like, that means that it could have been. Well, the, the thing. Uh, the, 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 are there moments when, in the, in the, 
that character is like emoting and like doing a thing, and you're like, that was fifty takes. Like, are, are there? Yeah, like- absolutely. It, it's tough because also as an actor, you have like you know what you want to do for the scene. You've made the characters and Spectral Motion, who made this incredible piece of machinery. I feel like a jet fighter pilot where I get to wear, I fly this amazing thing. Um, you have to pre-think what's going on and communicate. Going, this is what's going on in the scene. This is my arc in the scene. Here's the emotion. That's what's happening. And you had to map out because I, I couldn't control my hands and I couldn't control my my mouth because you saw the mouth. But you can't walk around with the character the mouth open the whole time, so they right. close it. And so as you're just sitting there and cook, literally cooking, you're breathing your own carbon dioxide, so you're not getting fresh air to fuel your muscles in your brain. And there are times where I'm just like past, yeah, 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 half conscious. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> I would like just like lay on the ground and like like Renner would come over and like, hey man, um, <laughs> do you need some water or something? And I'm like, no, it's it's cool. All right, and just like everyone had that pity look. Do you look need some water or something? <laughs> hey, man, it's me, Jeremy Renner. You need some water? Oh God! Oh man, you I need hate some, this dick. This gets some water over here, oh, this man. He's, it's such this a, goom, this I goom, hate man. It. He's all goom. I hate up, it when man. Jeremy Renner Get does his water, weird man. barrio accent. Oh man. <laughs> Get this man some water because uh, he's all melting. He's breathing his own carbon It's because dioxide. Jeremy Renner auditioned for that part and got the part of Hansel uh, <laughs> and was offended. Breathing he was his like, own. I can't operate the whole thing. Looking through your own mouth, <laughs> breathing your own carbon dioxide. Oh, it's me, Jeremy Renner. <laughs> Do you need some water, man? <laughs> Breathing on your own carbon dioxide? Looking through your own mouth? With your disc hurting, all the hurting disc is can, hurting. Can we do a nating? Can we do a quick commercial for Jeremy Renner's new Mexican restaurant? <laughs> Jeremy Renner, <laughs> come on down to Jeremy Renner's Taco Hut, man. We got Derek Mears here, star of Hansel and Gretel. He played that that goblin thing. He's breathing out of his own oxygen. We got plenty. We got we got so much water here, man. We got fajitas. We got some. Gluten free, gluten free options for you people, and and everybody gets a free tablecloth and and so come on down with the kids, meet the troll man from Hansel and Gretel. That wasn't CG, it was a man in a costume. And just tell him, Jeremy Renner sent you. You get a free pitcher of water. And you That's can breathe and look through your own mouth. That's Herman's hand, everybody. Thank you. Cheers to Rob Schraub. <laughs> Spencer Crittenden. I'm Jeff Davis. Terrible restaurant. Again, let, let's hear for Jordy White making all of our music. Derek Mears, everybody. And your mayor, Dan Harmon. Thank you so much. Drive fast, take chances. So, Jeremy Renner, everybody. Jeremy Renner. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.